Hey, hello one, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to be testing the performance of my laptop and uh, the, uh, the configuration of my laptop is Asus Tough Gaming. So for the proof, I'm just going to tell, show you the exact configuration of my laptop. So yeah, bear with us. So yeah, we have Asus Tough Gaming F15 FX506 Li 5X, 506 Li, whatever. So yeah, it's Core i5 10 generation CPU 2.5 gigahertz 8 cpu 8 gpu of ram and uh, this is the intel family chipset and the graphics card i'm using is nvidia geforce gdx 1650 ti and it's like four gigs of uh, video memory going on here and if i show you my system my computer so going in the file explorer and uh, i'm having like 512 gigs of ssd and these both are just hard drives all right so let's get started so we're just going to do a very simple, normal uh, video editing and uh, we'll see how the things are going to work out, right? All right, to be honest with you guys, this is the second time I'm starting up this software. This is not the first time. And uh, it took like 13.89 seconds to load. All right, it looks pretty smooth and pretty clean. And uh, let's start importing the files that we're going to be rendering. So that's going to be a new project. Let's name it as like test. Okay. Well, by the way, this laptop, this is a kind of a gaming laptop. So I'm not going to select anything. I'm not going to like touch anything. It's everything's on the preset. It will automatically detect the uh, graphics card. I really don't know what to select, what not to select. So I just know a couple of things that I've learned on YouTube. So yeah, let's do it. All right, we're just going to see how long it takes to edit a render a video and we will be continuously doing a little bit of recording stuff as well along with that. And if we need to increase the RAM or anything, we are going to be discussing that as well. Okay, so these files that I have are in here in my downloads, compressed. They are some normal YouTube files. All right, so let's select a random file. Let's select this one. Okay. Uh, in my previous laptop, Dell 5.9, 6th generation Core i5, uh, and that was having 2 gigs of GPU by AMD. So, yeah, the things were pretty, like, you know, slow and crazy with this one. Oh, alright. Okay, I guess it's taking a lot of processing here. It's taking a lot of processing. Well, well, well. Well, to be honest with you guys, if I was able to show you that how fast my fans are throttling at the moment, but let me like, you know, change the uh, performance of my laptop at the moment. Let me open the Asus Armory software. Okay, because it's really important to like, you know, increase the throttling speed of this laptop. Okay, yeah, uh, Armory crate. So let me increase the performance and everything. So I want turbo from you right now. All right, so as you can see, it's using a lot of RAM here. Uh, as we can see, it's using like 93% of the RAM. So increasing RAM is very, very necessary. Not using so much of the storage like, uh, and uh, the fans are throttling like crazy. What, what is the condition of GPU? The GPU is being used as well. Not much, but yeah somewhat CPU using yes absolutely so yeah I guess my take is that that we guys really need to <coughs> excuse me increase the RAM for these particular softwares so yeah let's continue because the screen recording is also going right now oh boy and this thing is like throttling like crazy all right so let's put a filter effects well, you can see it's a kind of struggling with these things. I was expecting it to be very smooth, but yeah, all right, no problem. Let's uh, do these things. All right, where is the keying? Here is the keying. We're going to do the color keying thing here. And I'm going to go to editing, okay? And yeah, don't forget, it's 144 hertz display. It's having a crazy refresh rate going on here. 
Okay, so the color keying that I'm going to be doing is something going to be like this, green, yeah. And uh, what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be like tool rating this one. I hope it's going to work smooth. Okay. Alright, now let's see how's the performance. Well, not smooth as I'm expecting on the timeline, but what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to export it, okay, and let's see how it's going to work. So, video codec, okay, I'm not going to touch any of these, they're all around preset. Only I'm just going to touch with this, so I'm just going to play a little bit with this one because uh, I want to use H.264 for this one. Oh my god, I wish I could like, you know, make you hear the sound. Of the fans throttling at the moment but I think it's working pretty good it's working pretty awesome because I remember in my previous laptop when I used to like you know grab this and like you know move it it used to stuck so much so much I really couldn't tell you well I'm seeing a little bit struggle going here as well so the estimation size of this estimated file size is like 12 MB so I'm not gonna like you know uh, touch the uh, what do you call it bitrate i'm not just going to increase or decrease the bitrate okay it's like on 10 basic very basic and uh, so yeah what if like you know i just want to make it a little bit more maybe let's say make make it 20 okay what video size do we have 25 mb that's still not much so yeah let's export it okay now before i click on export let's see how much time does it take and i'm again going to use my uh, stopwatch on my mobile phone which i'm going to put the part of this video and that video I'll be rendering here as well and I'll be like you know gonna keep the entire time that uh, the video that you are gonna be watching right now on YouTube how much time that's gonna take right so yeah let's get started uh, wait a second let me turn on my recording of my stopwatch in my phone hmm alright so I'm gonna click it export and start at the same time three two one go Alright, so guys, don't forget that this is the first time this laptop is exporting anything, like after rendering it in a software like Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. I don't know how much time it's going to take because in my previous laptop, it was telling me that it's going to take like approximately around uh, 30 minutes, 20, yeah, 30 to 20 minutes. That was the time. Oh boy, I can hear the sounds of uh, the fan. They are like throttling so crazy. Oh boy, that's a lot of noise. <laughs> I can, I wish I could like literally can make you listen this noise. It's going ludicrous. The fans are going totally ludicrous on this laptop, on this machine at the moment. All right, I'm not touching anything in my laptop. I'm not like, you know, going here and there. Oh, by the way, let's check out a little bit of stats. Okay, the RAM is being used 7.5%, like almost 100%. CPU usage 100%. Oh my god. Temperature is 81 degrees, 74 degree while rendering. How much we are at right now? Oh boy. The CPU fan is going like 54. Or the GPU fan is going like 56. Oh boy. Okay, the GPU usage is like 7%. I don't know how the thing's working out. Okay, so I guess... Yes, uh, I think we really need to increase the RAM. We really need to increase the RAM here. So guys, these are like, you know, legit results that can you edit in uh, this laptop. This laptop is what? Tough Gaming, Asus, G, uh, F15, NVIDIA, GeForce CDX 1650 Ti, GDDR6, 4 gigs, 108 bits. These are the configuration, guys. And these are all the steps at the moment of the time of rendering the video. Well, I guess it's very, very fast than my previous laptop. I guess it's all right to edit some uh, heavy videos as well. Well, let's see how does it goes. And we're almost done. Oh, wow. Amazing. So it took like 2 minutes and 22.54 seconds. That's amazing. That's literally amazingly fast. And I can still hear the fans, they are going nuts. 
But yeah, as you can see, the rendering is done, the usage came a little bit down, the RAM got, got substantially down, the usage of the RAM it got like, you know, 57% or something like that. The RPM of these fans is like very intelligent, they're going down by themselves. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to like, you know, keep it on performance or silent. I'm just going to keep it on turbo at the moment. Yeah, do remember, I kept it on the turbo at this, this time, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to go in the folder. Okay. And we've got to see that uh, how the things have been working out. Okay. It's in documents, Adobe, Premiere Pro 2020. All right. This is the test one video that we've edited. All right, all right, I hope the thing's gonna work fine. Oh, well, that's strange. The video got edited for like 12 MB, but it's like 3.34, all right. Hmm, let's run it. Oh, great, awesome, great, amazing, amazing. All right, guys, so the final thing that I really wanted to show you that how uh, the RPM of the fans just got down substantially. It's like at 3100 and 3100 RPM for CPU and fan. Uh, and the RAM is like 64 at the moment. And uh, yeah, things are going pretty good. CPU usage and the CPU temperature got substantially down, 65 from 81. And uh, the GPU temperature, I exactly do remember, I guess it was like somewhere around 58, right? right? And so it got like 252. So I think overall, this is a really good laptop for like, you know, whatever editing that I just did right now. And maybe some of you out there are like, you know, professional editors. So you can like, you know, drop down your comments and what you think about this laptop. And you can also suggest to me and recommend to me that what should I need to do? Like, what else can I like increase in my laptop? Maybe I, I forget, I guess the RAM and the ROM is the only thing that I can like, you know, upgrade in this laptop. Of course, it's a laptop. I cannot like up upgrade the GPU. So guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much uh, for being part. And if you really like the video, do subscribe to the channel. And if you really want to watch some crazy videos of like rendering, gaming, regarding to this laptop that I just recently bought. So yeah, do subscribe to the channel. That really supports me. And do like the video and to drop a comment as well. And thank you so much for having me. Have a great one. See you until next time.